<laughs> More than time already? All right, all right. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. And I can't believe I'm still sleeping in the first shelter we build here in Stranded Deep. And yes, indeed, welcome back to Stranded Deep. And I'm sleeping on the sand with sand fleas crawling in every crack and crevice and hole known to man and woman. Well, I guess it's a little different. But anyway, what time is it? Let's change the subject quick here. June 6th, 9 o'clock in the morning. Day 16. 16 days survive. So today is the 17th day, right? 97 degrees out and climbing. UV is medium. And we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Good morning, seagulls. Hey, let's get some uh, water here to drink. We'll drop that down, we'll have some breakfast, and then we're going to get rolling. And speaking of shelters, we have that lovely shelter we built right over there. The uh, Tiki Bar Cabana thing, right? Yeah, well, guess what? We don't have a bed in it yet. That's something we need to do today. And I think we can take care of it. We got a couple of piggy skins here. Uh, well, one of them is a pig skin, right? I forget where the... Where did we get the other one? From a shark or something? I don't remember. Anyway, we can turn that into leather. Like this strap here. And then make um, make a sleeping bag. They took the beds out for some weird reason. Hello, Mini Ladon. Even Mini Ladon gets to sleep in the nice tiki shelter. All right, yeah, we got the whole day. Let's make a tanning rack. Tanning rack. What do we need? What do we need for a tanning rack? My guess is a bunch of sticks. Four lashings? Holy smokes. It's going to clean me out. All right, fine. Four lashings, and now we have our tanning rack. I wish we put this tanning rack. Let's put it over here. This looks like a fine spot for a tanning rack. It's actually in the sun, even though the sun is completely unnecessary. But it will look kind of cool, won't it? All right. Let's do some tanning. There we go. Leather plus tanning rack is leather strip strap. Strip strap. We got some strip straps. That's it. And I think that's all we need. Three strip straps. And... Where's my sleeping bag? There it is. And three cloth. Really? Ooh, this is going to be so comfortable. What up? Yeah, we have... Uh, oh, shoot. All right, we need to make some more cloth right here, which we can do on our loom. All right, got everything we need. Three sticks, three cloth, and three strip straps. Wow! <laughs> It's on my head! Wait, this is not a sleeping bag? Wait, did it not say sleeping bag in the uh, in the menu? <laughs> Can I get it in the door? Woo! It's perfect fit! How come when I move in real life, it's never this easy? You can never get anything through the dang doors, especially the giant furniture. Uh, let's sleep in this corner. How do I put it down? You just drop it. All right, it's not really a sleeping bag. It is a cot. Okay, it's a sleeping bag on a cot, I guess you could say. I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be like a sleeping bag all rolled up on the ground. Or unrolled on the ground, that is. Yeah, now we're talking. Tonight is going to be amazing. Sleeping in the sleeping bag on the cot. Let's save it. Make sure it works. Oh, look at that. Portable saving device. We can bring that with us when we have to go places, right? Far, far away and we need to save it. All right, well, that was easy peasy. What time is it? Almost 1 o'clock, 100 degrees out, but UV is still pretty medium. All right. No sweat. That was easy. Okay, what do we do now? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have a plan. Let's go somewhere. Yeah, let's go somewhere. Let's fill up on the food and the drink. Oh, no, no, wait. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Hold on. I want to make a, uh, a plank foundation, which takes how many planks? So we need four planks to make a plank foundation. Unfortunately, we only have enough logs to make one plank foundation. So we're going to have to go chop down some more palm trees. I did not chop down these palm trees here on my island because I like my palm trees. We want to have some shade, but I got them over there. And we're going to have to go back and get some more, unfortunately. But why don't we whip up a few planks right now. Scroll all the way down. There we go. One. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't whip up the foundation yet. Because I want to put it right here, and I want to put a door in as well. Just to keep that Piggy Wiggy out at night. We don't want Piggy Wiggy sneaking in here. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Food. Oh, what the? That? <laughs> food. Stand still, food. Gotcha. Woohoo. Good eating, these little boys. 
Um, as I was saying, we don't want Piggy Wiggy interrupting our sleep in the middle of the night. As far as I know, Piggy Wiggy does not know how to use a doorknob, so we'll be good there. What was that? So that's the only way to get rid of things. You have to chop it up with your axe, your precious stone axe. It's now all dull, and it just sinks into the sand. Oh, rain! Oh, no, I hear wind! Uh, I'm having flashbacks! I'm having flashbacks because we just had a real windstorm here at home on Friday last week. Today is Tuesday, and I lost power for a couple of days. Fortunately, I have a new generator. So, yeah, I do not like this. Do not like this sound. Now, let's just make sure we got the, um, we got the planks going the right direction here. I want to match them up. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Not only do we have high winds and loss of power, but we had flooding, too, because there was a ton of rain in my basement office. My new basement office, I should say, that we built about four years ago when we added onto the house was flooded. Not a lot of water, about a quarter of an inch, just enough that I had to move out. I'm now in my old office. So, yeah, what a bummer that was. Whoa, boy, big storm. Uh, bad, bad memories here. Bad memories. All right, let's make a ladder up. And we'll make a door. It will get inside and wait out this storm. Uh, what do we need for a ladder? Probably sticks, right? Ladder, steps, whatever they are. And my guess is some more lashings. Holy cow, we're running low on lashings. All right, wood steps, get them up. Oh, we're gonna hammer them on, right. With wooden nails or something. Hold up. Food delivery. <laughs> That's so great. I'm so glad they deliver around here. It's free delivery too. Doesn't cost me a dime. All right, uh, let's get inside. And how about a door? Building. Door. Door, 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 door. Wow, okay, I have lots of options here. We can make a stick door or a plank door. Is that two planks? Oh, should we make a plank door? Because that looks really nice. Do we have any more planks left? We have one plank here. Oh, man, I'm going to have to use my last log. I need a lashing to make the door. Oh, young palm tree, get out of my planter, you dang fool. Come here, where'd you go? And now we can make the dang door. Now that the storm's over. Plank door! Slap it in there. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Even a caveman can do it. Is that the right way? Can you spin it around? Oh, you can. Yeah, let's put it here. I think that's right. Oh, I don't have to hammer it? You need to open, hold it. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Just the way we like it. E to slam it. Oh, it doesn't make a slam sound. Oh, what am I going to do when I'm mad at Piggy Wiggy or Batty or Jill? I'm going to slam the door. Yeah. Is there a bat here? Oh, there he is. Hi, bat. Stand still. Stand still. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's another one. Get my stick. Get my stick. Oh, there he is. Quick. Quick before he goes. Is that him? Yep. Got him. It's so hard to see in the dark. All right. That's uh, a couple of little meats right there. Looks like Buffalo Wild Wings tonight. My favorite. Woohoo! All right. Get them cooked up. All right. Skinned all them birds. Let's get the Zippo out here. Get a fire started. And it looks like we're down to one stick left. Ay caramba. That should be enough to cook our Buffalo Wild Wings here. And then we'll hang these up to dry. Smoke them, holy smokes. Get smoked. And I guess we'll throw that last stick in the fire. Oh! Oh, I had another stick in, in my pocket. Of course I did. Okay, well, guess what? It's nighttime again. And the daytime just does not last long enough in this game. I think it should last at least another five or ten minutes even. And then cut the, uh, the night a little shorter. There's really not much you can do at night. I mean, we can wander around the island and find some... Uh, fibers and stuff like that but I really want to go to an, another island today and oh what's this guy a wava lava a wava lavula wava lava what a wava lavula who knew hey Krabby Patty how we doing coming right at us so we got a wava lavula plant I have no idea what that is useful for probably some kind of consumable 
Got the Aloe Salve. We got Gauze here. That's Kawawa and Kura. We got an Antidote, which requires a Pippi plant. And a Breath Boost, which requires a Juga. Oh, we have a Juga. Up, 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 up. Food's up. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it's not smoked yet. We gotta wait for it to smoke. Yeah, if you don't wait for it to smoke, it will spoil. Cooked food spoils, but smoked food does not. All right, let's put this lovely plant. Ooh, smells great. Let's put it in the plant's storage. And why don't we take out the ajuga? Uh, and we can make that thing. Make a breath boost. And that will allow us to hold our breath longer underwater. Okay, let's grab a coconut, and unfortunately, I think these flasks require f lashings, which is a stinker. Yes, they do. One lashing, one coconut. Oh, now we're done. Now we're done. All right, kill the fire. I'd love to have a fire going just to be warm and cozy, but we just don't have the wood to spare, so we're going to have to kill it. Anywho, we got the flask, so let's get back to the consumables. And we have a breath boost. There it is. It says right on it, breath. <laughs> Look at Right there. I carved it in. Breath. Now, what does this actually do for us? I know we can hold our breath longer, but for how long? Slows the heart rate, increasing held breath time for three hours. Three hours, which means in this game, that's about, that's about three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. That's going to be good for about one wreck. Maybe, maybe two. If they're close together. Not so great, is it? Should we make another one? I wonder if they stack. Although we're getting kind of short on uh, on fibers again. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to run out here into the woods and collect a bunch of uh, fibers. Make up some more cordage. And then uh, we'll try to make another breath boost. And potentially... We can make aloe salve, and I'd love to find a pippy plant. Maybe we can go out and find a pippy plant and make an antidote in case we get stung by something venomous. Oh, gosh, 3 o'clock in the morning. Holy smokes. Watch out, Krabby Patty. Oh, hey, Pinky Winky, what's up, dude? Hey, come by and see the shelter. I'd give you a key for the front door, but I know you don't have a posable thumb, so it would be useless anyway because you can't open doorknobs. So. But anyway, you can just come over and say hi. We're right over here. Bye. <laughs> Posable thumbs. Okay, let's grab the aloe vera because I want to make a, uh, a aloe salve. Because we want to make a sunscreen for this trip. We're going to go uh, to a new island. We'll go to a new island. We'll bring our breath boosts and some aloe. And maybe we'll find some new goodies. All right, let's get to bed. Let's get to bed in the new sleeping bag slash cot. Save it, and shut off the lights. Kill that light. You know, on second thought, maybe we shouldn't go to sleep right now. I mean, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. The sun's going to be up in a couple of hours. And if we go to sleep now, we won't wake up until probably noon or 1 o'clock. Because you cannot control how long you sleep in this game. It's just like an automatic 8 hours or something insane like that, no matter what. And we'll lose half the day ahead of us and that's not gonna be good now nah, let's not all right let's um let's go get prepared for this trip let's go gather all the supplies and then we'll get rolling something i forgot to do reggie today is your naming ceremony now you're somebody pal now you're somebody you're in the phone book now we can boogie so wait a minute where are we going <laughs> 40 that guy right there beyond that wreck i have a feeling we've been there but there's only one way to find out. It's to get on over there and explore. And maybe there's a bunch of wrecks around it. And if not, we might just have to keep on going in one direction. We may have already been to all the islands around us. The close ones. So we might have to venture out a little farther. Anywho. Alright. Off we go. I'll meet you guys there. It's a bit of a trip. Woo! Oh, dagnabbit. This is the starting island. Isn't it? It's kind of small. I think this is the starting island. Let's go around to the other side. I mean, I see a stick there. But I don't see, like, any tarps or anything that might indicate we have not been here before. Yeah. Hold on. Let me kill the engine. 
hop out right quick here and have a look around. Oh, but it's an ajuga plant. We have a juga back at on our island, I'm pretty sure, but we don't have the pippy. Let's find a pippy plant. Oh, is this a pippy? Hello. Oh, aloe vera. I plucked it and I can't carry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Dang humans. Yeah, we've been here before, I think. Oh, maybe we haven't. Here's a tarp. Hmm. Oh, there's a tarp there. And another Krabby Patty. Well, you know what? I don't think we have been here. But there's not much on this island. There's a few plants, but nothing new. So I think what we might do is just keep on trucking. I mean, there's some pretty good supplies here. We got wood, obviously. We have fibers. We have some fruits. Um, but no real wrecks near near the shore. There's a tarp over there, but I don't really need a tarp. Oh, excuse me. How about we continue on? So we were going 40, right? Yeah, we're going to go pretty far today. There's another 40 right there. Yeah, let's do that. Straight away to the next 40 we go. Start it up. Let's boogie. I hope we don't run out of gas out here because I did not bring a spare jerry can with us. There's no gas gauge on this thing, so I don't know how much is in there, how much it takes, if we're getting low, etc. It's just all guesswork. This is another little teeny little island. Hopefully there's some wrecks around it, though. I want to do some diving with our new breath booster. Oh, there's a wreck. There's a wreck right there, but the hands are full. we got to drop some stuff out. Now, this island is guaranteed to be a new one because we haven't come out this far before. I'm just going to pull Reggie right up. Shut off the motor. And drop stuff. All right. Now we have some space to pick up some things. Let, should we walk around the island first? There's usually, usually not very much useful stuff around. Maybe a few tarps. Ow, oh, I saw that right at the last second. He clipped me. You little... Oh, I'll be back for you. Aloe, we don't need... We're looking for the pippy plant. A pippy plant. Keep your eyes open for snakes. I have not seen a snake yet in this season of Stranded Deep. But I guarantee you they're still around. Looking for a pippy plant. I don't even know what it looks like. Ooh, a koala. Not hungry, though. Oh, look at that. There it goes. All right, let's eat it. Hmm, delicious and fresh. No preservatives or GMOs in that one. That's an ajuga right there. What's this thing? Pippy! It's Pippy, a little Pippy, like the long stocking. It's a teeny little feller. Hello, little Pippy. Oh, look at you. You're kind of cute. Smell funny, though. Now, what does this do? Use to craft antidotes. Right. Do we need two, Pippi, for one antidote? That's the question of the century. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> Great. What the heck is one Pippi going to do for us? I guess we could grow it, right? We could plant it. We could plant that back at home. We'll, we'll pluck the potato because we don't need a, a potato. We've got plenty of food. So we'll pluck the potato. We'll grow the Pippi. And then we'll have uh, we'll have endless supplies of Pippi, and we won't have to come out here for them. That makes sense to me. All right, let's well, watch out. There's that little uh, feisty feller. Let's go drop some stuff down here. Uh, you know what? Let's grab the sticks because we can use them. I have like, I don't know how many tarps. I got like nine tarps. We definitely don't need tarps. But we'll drop the sticks because we're running low on the sticks. And I'll probably chop down some trees anyway. But let's go to the wreck first. It's way out there. Oh, did the tide? Oh. This game does have tides. I was I kept I was wondering about that. I wasn't sure. Well, that was weird. I heard a strange beep and then my recording software croaked on me. I don't know if you guys heard that beep. I don't know if it got recorded. <laughs> but I, uh, I didn't want to take any chances. So I whipped up a quick shelter. I saved the game. Fortunately, that recorded footage didn't um, didn't get messed up because sometimes it doesn't save properly, but in this case it did. So that was good news. Didn't lose any footage, and now let's get back on track. You need to cool down. <gasps> oh, no. UV super high. Ooh, when did that happen? When did that happen? Did I bring... Yeah, we brought out the LSL. Here we go. Just what, I need. Just what we needed. Sunscreen, that works for 12 hours, way better than the breath boost. 
And look at this. The sun's already going to go down in a few minutes. This is what I mean. We need longer days. So we have one wreck right here. And... Oh, there's another one right there. Perfect. Perfect. So now we can drink our breath boost and probably get both of these. The question is, how much more breath does it actually provide? I don't know. We're going to find out. This will come in handy. Oh, I hope so. And guess who it is? Dickie the Dolphin's here. Dickie, I don't want to play right now. I'm here for business. We got tires. Oh, all right. Let's free the tires. Free the Tyrees! Go, Tyree, go! And we got a crate. Let's grab that loot crate. I'm just gonna pick it up right now. We'll look at it later. Take advantage of this breath boost while we can. It seems to be lasting a little bit longer than normal. Um, but man, no, you know what? It's going down pretty fast, isn't it? <laughs> we got some barrels here. We'll free the barrels. And oh, we got another crate. Pick it up. A couple of consoles. And there's a fuel tank, right? And nothing in that one, huh? One's empty. All right, we gotta go. Gotta go. You know, that breath didn't really... Oh, ow! ow! He nipped me! Dicky! Man, I don't want to play right now. I'm busy. Mm. All right, can we go down deeper and get another crate down here? Is that everything? Yeah, that console's empty. Let's go check over here. Oh boy, blocked by rocks. Some kind of growth. Oh no, we can get in. But there's nothing here. Alright, let's get to the other wreck. <laughs> Climb up! Quick! <sighs> Alright, start it up. Oh! <laughs> Something just exploded! <laughs> oh! Dicky, stop! I don't want to play! We don't have time! Alright, we just left Dicky in the dust, I think. He might be fast, but Reggie's faster. Alright, here we go. Maybe we lost him. Go! I need to find water. What? Seriously? Whoa! What happened to my water? Did the breath boost make me super thirsty or something? I had full water when we came out here. That's ridiculous. Oh, a torch! A torch, also known as flashlight. That was worth it. And a locker. A little plank in the locker. <laughs> oh, we're full. Are you kidding me? Ay, caramba. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, uh, river. Oh, let's eat the ration. Let's eat the ration. Can I eat underwater, I wonder? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Pff. Let's get back up on Reg and let's eat that ration. That actually does hydrate. Just enough to keep us out of hot water. All right, now we can go back and get the plank and the fuel tank that I dropped off here. All right, I think that's everything down here. Can we get inside this wreck? Oh, maybe. Oh, no, that's a tight squeeze and looks really dangerous. Super sharp metal there. Whoa, watch out. Oh, sea urchin. We don't have an antidote yet, so we've got to be careful. Uh-oh. I might run out of breath. Okay. Let's try one more time. Maybe we can get in here. Hello, bros. Let's try our torch. Oh, that's excellent. Ugh. Can't quite fit. Oh, I made it! I made it! Better be worth it. Is there anything in here? Nope. Nothing in here. And you know what? That was kind of a tight squeeze. I hope I can get back out. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right. Shut that light off. Let's get back to shore. Looks like Dickie went home. He got the message. That's right. We're being exclusive today. We're excluding. Let's see another wreck here. It's a good thing we have this torch, man. That worked out perfectly. Because it's dark. All right. What do we got in here? Oh, no, Dickie's back. Dang it. Oh, no, crate, grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. We're out of breath. Get up. Whoa, oh, jeez. Oh, ow. He did it again. Dickie, get out of here. He's in a frenzy. It's my raft. Swim. Swim, Eddie, swim. <sighs> Don't like these sharks at night. I need to find water. Again? What does he do? I don't understand why I lose water when you get bit by the dolphin. 
That makes absolutely no sense to me. It's gotta be a bug. Oh, I got a headlight with a flashlight. Check it out. That is fantastic. All right, there's a coconut right there. We can drink that coconut. And we can get more right here, but first we're gonna have to drop all these crates. Oh, didn't want to drop that. Hey, 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 give me back my spear. Did we get the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand why you lose food and water when you get attacked by a shark. That just doesn't make any sense. And now we are in emergency mode and we're probably going to get diarrhea from eating all these coconuts. And drinking all the coconut milk. Uh-oh. I feel something coming. <laughs> I feel something coming. All right. Well, that, that didn't really do very much. We got to get home. We have a long way to go. Let's, uh, oh, let's check the crates. Yeah, we got a couple of crates here that we didn't look inside. Oh, that one right there. Cloth and a carburetor. And a hammer and gas. Oh, good. Gas is good. Carburetor, plank, and leather. Okay, yep. I think what we're going to do right now is call it quits. And I'm going to uh, maybe grab a couple more coconuts. And then I'm going to head home. And this is what we definitely do not want to forget. We can plant that back when we get to uh, home base. And oh my gosh, really? All right, I better go, uh, better go find a coconut or a crabby patty or something. Yeah, something's definitely up. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully I can survive the night. Gonna have to find some food and water right quick here. But uh, we'll find out in the next episode, so stay tuned. Bye-bye. I hear you, baddie. Oh, dang it. Come back here. I'm dying of...